We're gonna call this the Baby Park Signature Laura Twist Red Carpet Living Room Elegance. Wow. That worked for Perfect. you? All right, celebrity hairstylist Laura Polko, thank you so much for Skyping, Zooming, video chatting with us during this very um, crazy time in the world. First of all, how are you doing? Well, you know, I was able to make a little time for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're too busy. We're really busy schedule. <laughs> You're not on tour uh, right now? Oh, interesting. Yeah, weird. I know. It's actually, I'm, I've been doing pretty good. Right. I feel good about it. Um, you know, at least we have kind of like a timeline, which always helps, you know? For someone who does want to like zhuzh it up a little, can you give like your top three tips to keeping the glam alive during this strange time? Yeah, I think it's important to definitely obviously use the time to do your hair masks and do your face masks and do those things so when you're ready, you're like feeling great. And if you've been to like, you know, sitting on a lash serum, actually use it. You have like a <laughs> month to actually commit and see the results Whoa. come out, you know? Things like that, they're like, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. So it's a good time to do those things. But I think what really helps is just put on a coat of mascara. If you want to kind of walk me through a tutorial, I will let you know yeah. I am no hair expert by any means. I have one look and one look only. So am I looking at it? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Down and wavy. So whatever you're willing to teach me, I will do my best to follow along and, and be very grateful. Okay, so you have all this stuff, right? So I have a few things. I have this. Um, what you got? This brush. Okay. Yeah, I have a paddle brush. Okay. I've got an assortment of like skinny combs. I do okay, have a cool. red pale comb. These are the, the best that I got. And then okay. I've got a few sprays. I've got some shine, uh, wave and shine spray. I've got some okay. texturizing hairspray. Do I need anything else? Do you have um, little, do you have hair pins? Bobby pins, yes. Okay, you have bobby pins. You don't have like the U-shaped pin. You can do it with bobby pins, but it's okay. Do you have little clear elastic? I have regular elastics. Okay, well we're gonna do your version with regular elastic, okay. which is fun because your hair is really dark. So if it was reversed, it yeah. would be a total eyesore, but for yours, it'll be totally fine. Okay. So don't think about it. Um, okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put hair back here, and then we're gonna do a little twisted knot kind of thing okay. that I think you were into, correct? I love it, yes. Okay, cute. All right, so we what we want to do is the middle part. Okay. Um, is that I feel like that is the best comb to do it. You want to kind of what I would do instead is start from the very beginning. Kind of line this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hold it. Oh my god, she's yeah, already taking it the other way. way. Yeah, and then kind of hook that front and go straight back. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just get it as straight as you can, even if it takes a minute. Don't getting a middle part straight is every hairstyle that's worst nightmare. So don't don't be hard on yourself if it's taking you a while. Oh my gosh! And it's so weird. even if it's only that's perfect because you only really care about here forward. So you're good. You don't don't worry about back there. Well, I'm so that so seeing myself with this true center part. Okay. It looks really good. Does it, is it freaking you out? It's something you don't do? It feels a little weird, but you know what? Yeah. This is Corey. If it, like, if it wasn't going back, you'd instantly go like this. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Okay, so if your hair was not, like, I mean, my hair is pretty clean. It's not dirty. This is the hypothetical dirty. What I would use is a little, this is mousse, and then this is a little surf spray, salt spray, to kind of roughen it up. If this is something that you want to do post-quarantine, you can do that. But, um, so now what we're gonna do, my, hair part, my part's already pretty straight. So we're gonna take it, you're gonna take it at a diagonal, about an inch and a half back, and you're gonna take this, like kind of just a little triangle shape. And then you're gonna leave that out, tuck this part behind your ear, enough. That's perfect. And then tuck that behind your ear. Yeah, that works too. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Tuck this behind the ear. Even if it feels crazy, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. so now 
leave these two pieces in front, even if you feel crazy. And then you want a brush that's kind of, I mean, I use the Mason, you have two, I think that one's great. I have so the Conair I, version, yes. Yeah, perfect. But what you want to do is just kind of comb it straight back. Should I get rid of this? Yeah, get rid of that one, perfect. So just comb it straight back. So that little bit of your part that's kind of uneven, you want that to go back. Okay, so I gotta... You gotta redo it. Don't worry. Like yeah. Perfect, 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 yes. So leave it like that. Okay. And the front fits out. I know, this is annoying. Once you're... You know what? This is why you have mad skill and mad talent, <laughs> because it's really hard. So as flat and tight as you can make it, the better. Let's see what Conair can do. I mean, look, I'm not putting Laura Polko out of business anytime soon, let's say that. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you wanna keep it, sorry, you wanna keep it kind of in the middle. Okay. But your hair is pretty long, right? Yeah. Your hair is pretty long, so it can be a bit lower. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I put it like right here. About okay, where you did it, yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay you got the other ones? Okay, so. And then I got this big one, which I use because my hair is so thick. This okay. is like a no slip grip. Hopefully we can make it work using these. Yeah, totally. Do you have two skinny ones by chance? Um, I have one in my hair, one here. We need one more, one more skinny one. You, it's okay. You can use the um, you can use the bigger one, but ideally you would use the big one first if you have thick hair, and then you would use the two skinny ones because we're what the two skinny ones are doing is we're gonna give a baby part. Okay, like, well, hold on. You're like, well, Laura, you that's what we're doing. Doing. yes. Okay, hold on. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna recomb that really quick. Okay. I'm gonna use the big one to secure it. Yeah, because that's where your bulk is, so obviously, you know, that's where you want it yep. to kind of keep it in place. Cool. Okay, so. so if you want to use a little bit of hairspray, the texturizing hairspray is great. Okay. What I like to do for this is I like to spray it on my fingers. I know that sounds crazy. No, I love it. So it goes on a little less. Yeah, down. totally. So you don't have like one straight shot, and then you kind of work it back, and this is where you're going to take a fine tooth comb. So you can kind of see those hair strokes. And you're gonna brush them sideways into where your pony is. And then you're gonna put another, the skinny one. Get that piece over your ear. Right here. Yeah, Thank, perfect. You. Thank you. You're welcome. And then you can secure that. Yes, and then secure that. Okay, and then Sometimes I actually do like this look. Don't worry, it's okay, it's gonna go up. Wait, did I tuck it? I don't know what you did, but it's cute. Okay, great. Great. And sometimes I do like this look like in real life, if you did this and you kind of just put a bend here on the one side, even though it's a middle part, I think it's kind of really chic. But you know, that's for a later date when reality resumes. <laughs> and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You have like, you have a little baby part pony. Yes. So that's, and then if you want, you can spray a little more and get your flyaways if you want. Oh, and that Brush is up. the bane of my existence. What is your best flyaway tip for really like securing all of these hairs that always are just like, whoop. Okay, so like, do you see this little one that's standing out right here? Yeah. Okay, so. You also need stronghold hairspray for things like that. Uh, yeah, texturizing is great if you, <laughs> texturizing is awesome if you kind of want to do like a beachy thing and it actually holds. So that kind of is a two in one for that. But for like a stronghold hairspray, it's great. Love it. Spray, spray in place great because you can still brush through it. Which great. Is, yeah, I don't like, like, the like those little white marks. You know what I'm talking about? Of course. No, yeah. please no on that one. Okay, so now we're going to get, get your bobby pin. Okay. Because now we're gonna get into kind of the more complicated part. Oh Lord. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Okay, no, so, I'm ready. <laughs> so the ponytail, if you just wanna watch as I kind of do this, I'm gonna go through it one time and then I'll show you again. So 
and maybe that will help if you're a learner anyway, visual like I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray more on my fingers and then I'm going to run it over the pony. And then here, you wanna hook your thumb under and you wanna wrap it like this. And then all you do is you pin that into place. Cute. It's okay. really easy. It's just like, you know, when you are trying to curl your left side when you're right-handed, you're like, why, why can't I do this? <laughs> it's the same thing, just figuring out how to do it. But yeah, so wrap that and just wrap it around because that will help you with some of the flyaways. Okay, so then watch me one more time. Yeah. You're going to take your left hand from above. So hold it with your right hand, take your left hand from above and then you twist it like that. And you wanna pull it up kind of higher, so in the front, it looks a bit like a, you know, just a bun from the front, and then there's the back detail. Oh, how cute, okay. So you're like, oh, that looks really fun. <laughs> you're like, I thought we were done in a low pony. <laughs> yeah, wrap it around, perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great. It's not totally it, but it looks great. For your, for thick hair, I love what you did. And then now you just want to pin it into place. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Do you pin the little pieces that are poking out at the bottom or do you suggest the bun area? Definitely what we're trying to do first is lock in like the bun area. Okay. And then I like, I leave these pieces out because I like it. Yeah. And then I can give you a tip on how to like make it a little chic for your, for your at home day to day. Okay. For your Zoom meetings. <laughs> for looking great in my living room. <laughs> exactly. Okay. But yeah, so these are definitely just to lock your... Um, the bun, the, the, the main component here. Exactly. And when do you usually do your hair like this? Like, is this something that people have done on the red carpet or is this kind of like your casual running around look? Uh, yeah, I feel like I've done it for a few clients in big events for red carpet. Don't judge what my pinning looks like. I can't see anything. I promise it's better on people than it is on me. Oh, I'm sure it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cute. Yeah, super cute. I know it feels weird on your neck. You're like, why do I have a tail? But it, I promise it looks really cute. And then if you want for something like this on the side, a really, really great trick you can do that I've done on clients. There was like something I did. We did it on Gigi where she had, what was it for? The Harper's Icons party where she had the thing sticking out. Oh, of they course. Used to get, and a lot of people, you see it on runways and you're like, how do they get that? How does it happen? It's so, so easy. All you do is you take the end of the hair, you spray a direct shot of hairspray and you take a flat iron and just go like that. But make sure you brush through it first because it's gonna seal it in. So you would just spray it, do that, and then hit it with the flat iron and it will And then it just kind of pops out. Yeah, but it's such an easy thing. Even if you have a bun and there's pieces, it's really, it's a really good look. I am so excited to rock this new. For, it's really cute. And for your first run at it with, it's like your first time doing, like I said, curling yeah. on your left side, you feel like such an idiot. You're like, where is my hand-eye coordination? I should have played more video games as a kid. I'm so bad at this. Poor but no. it, and it becomes something you would do. It's actually really, really chic.